Colorado is at the center of our nation for wolf battles. Another hearing, another unique priority for Republican Lauren Boebert, wolves. Typically, when these dangerous predators attack, they kill. And wolves don't just kill animals, they kill people as well. From 2002 to present day, approximately 500 people have been attacked by wolves, with nearly 30 of these attacks resulting in human deaths. Uh, I would request unanimous consent to enter uh, an article uh, from wolf.org, which does a little deeper dive into some of the data you just cited, uh, noting that of the 26 fatal wolf attacks uh, around the world during that 20-year period, uh, there was only one in the United States. Oh, one U.S. fatality from wolves over 20 years. Lauren Boebert was fact-checked in real time and got humiliated. Talk about embarrassment. But it's not just about getting the facts wrong with her. When was the last time Lauren Boebert was so focused or so concerned about gun violence or mass shootings or kids killed in an elementary school? Oh, that's right. Guns are not a problem in the world of Lauren Boebert. Wolves are a problem. Carlos Antecio in Walden, Colorado. He has a rescue dog here, Scooby-Doo. Well, Scooby-Doo, his cattle dog, and Buster were both killed by wolves. Scooby-Doo had his stomach ripped out and wide open. I mourn the loss of Scooby-Doo and Buster. They were clearly beloved cattle dogs, loyal, diligent, innocent. But these were dogs killed by wolves. And again, over the last 20 years, wolf violence in the United States has killed just one human being. In the first three months of 2023, gun violence killed more than 9,000 Americans, including more than 300 teenagers and children. Did Lauren Boebert ever take Congressional Committee time to show the photos of those children or tell their story? Did she describe in graphic detail what happens to a child's body when it is hit by a bullet fired from an assault weapon? Lauren Boebert's hypocrisy and detachment from reality are horrifying. Not only are there fewer U.S. human deaths from wolves every decade than guns every day, there are also fewer humans killed by wolves than killed by hammers. Oh. Are we going to start legislating that away? Are we going to be uh, like these other countries who even ban knives? I mean, if, if hammers are the cause of more death than firearms, then maybe we need to start having background checks on hammers. I mean, look out, Black & Decker. We're already coming after manufacturers for firearms. Maybe you're next. Actually, we have more firearm deaths than hammers, but it does seem like every time Lauren Boebert gives an interview or speaks at a committee hearing, the hashtag that goes viral is Lauren Boebert is so dumb. Because more often than not, Boebert is wrong on the basic facts. Around the same time that Boebert was making wolves a top concern at that committee hearing, she also expressed concern in another hearing about public peeing in Washington, D.C., and she got shamed. Sorry. Did you lead the charge to decriminalize public urination in Washington, D.C.? No, ma'am. Did the you ever vote in favor of decriminalizing public urination in Washington, D.C.? Criminal code that was did passed you by the ever council support kept it as a criminal offense. Did we have records that show that you were in favor of removing that criminal offense and allowing public urination? No. The Is that something that you intend to pursue in the future? No. The legislation you're referring to that came from the Criminal Code Reform Commission changed public urination from a criminal to a civil offense. The council then changed that to maintain it as a criminal offense at the request of the mayor. Thank you. I yield. Hey, Lauren, let me tell you a secret. In Washington, D.C.'s Rock Creek Park, where some people have been known to pee, there are also wolves. <laughs> Be careful. By the way, a couple of states over from Lauren Boebert's Colorado is Missouri, and state Republicans in Missouri have decided that a big subversive threat to children is the public library. So the GOP is trying to cut all state funding for all public libraries. They actually took out all state aid for public libraries explicitly because librarians are suing over their First Amendment rights over a book ban. I feel like we're starting to live in a dystopian future from like 1984. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.